welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflection. My name is Tudi Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family based in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the topic, Idols Frustrate Expectations. Idols Frustrate Expectations. A Bible passage is taken from Isaiah chapter 44, I read from verse 10 to verse 18. Who would form a God or mold an image that profits him nothing? Surely all his companions will be ashamed. And the workmen, they are mere men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up, yet they shall fear. They shall be ashamed together. The blacksmith with the tongues walks one in the coals, fashions it with armors, and walks it with the strength of his hands. Even so, he is hungry and his strength fails. He drinks no water and is faint. The craftsman stretches out his rule. He marks one out with chalk. He fashions it with a plane. He marks it out with a compass and makes it like the figure of a man, according to the beauty of a man, that it may remain in the house. He cuts down cedars for himself and takes the cypress and the oak. He secures it for himself among the trees of the forest. He plants a pine and the rain nourishes it. Then it shall be for a man to burn, for he will take some of it and warm himself. Yes, he kindles it and bakes bread. Indeed, he makes a god and worships it. He makes it a carved image and falls down to it. He burns half of it in the fire. With, it, with this half he eats meat, he rose a rose and is satisfied. He even warms himself and says, Ha, ah, I am warm, I have seen the fire. And the rest of it he makes into a god, his carved image. He falls down before it and worships it, prays to it and says, Deliver me for you are my God. They do not know, not understand, for he has shut their hearts so that they cannot see and their hearts so that they cannot understand. A memory verse for today, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous will be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked will perish. And our reflection for today. A memory verse today is a striking one. We are told that the expectation of the wicked will perish while the hope of the righteous will be gladness. Where is your hope placed today? Where is your trust? Where are you looking to for help? If you are expecting help from anyone other than God, you will be disappointed. Some put their trust in man. Some put it in horoscopes. Some in tarot card readers, expecting these avenues to give them solutions. Others put their trust in stocks and shares. Some gamble, trying to find solutions to their debts. Whatever takes most of your attention has become your idol. When we are in the midst of trouble, it is best to seek solutions from God than any other place. If God has not spoken to you to invest in shares, you may lose money instead of gaining. We serve a living God who has all the answers we need. No wonder Proverbs chapter 13 says, For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. At times we feel that we cannot hear from God ourselves, and so we seek out a, a, a prophet to tell us God's will. The problem with this is that there are many false prophets who are deceiving the children of God. It is better that you seek God's will and have clarity on the matter. When a prophet speaks, it will be confirming what, I mean, that which God has already spoken to you. And so be careful that no man of God is taking the place of God in your life. Otherwise, that person has become an idol to you. Today, be sure to put your trust in the Almighty God. Those who hope in Him will never be disappointed. Action point. Make this confession. Every idol taking God's place in my heart, I tear you down and enthrone the Lord Jesus Christ at the center of my life. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye.